Location, 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 y'all. That is the number one rule in the real estate game. Y'all know that. If you don't know that, you should. Now, today, what we're talking about is we're talking about Detroit. And we get a lot of investors from all over the USA, even outside of the USA, coming to Detroit because Detroit, one of the cheapest most affordable cities in the USA, okay? But a lot of you should be aware Detroit has an interesting reputation, okay? So if you're going to invest in Detroit, you're going to buy these cash flow properties for pennies on the dollar of where you could afford uh, compared to, like, you know, other more expensive coastal markets and things of that nature. You have to be careful. It's all about where you buy in Detroit. And today, y'all, I'm going to be going over the three best rental property neighborhoods in Detroit, Michigan. All right, y'all, I want to pop right into it, okay? The three best rental property neighborhoods in Detroit, okay? The three best. Now, I have... On the board here, on the TV, okay? I pulled up an article written by my friends over at Logical Property Management in Detroit, okay? They manage a, I don't know, a couple thousand units or so in the Detroit neighborhood, right? So these are the people that are actually on the ground in the city of Detroit. These are the people that are unclogging toilets. These are the people handling tenant screening, tenant leasing, setting rent prices, okay? Evicting tenants in those unfortunate situations. And if y'all want to watch tenants get evicted, I highly recommend y'all check out the Tennis from Hell show here on Holton Wise TV. It's a wild game out there. Y'all see some crazy stuff, okay? Including yours truly, evicting tenants all right so if you're interested in seeing like the kind of stuff real estate investors and landlords have to go through you'll have to check that out too because you need to know the bad before you could focus on the good right there's a lot of good stuff involved in investing in rental properties okay but i'm here to let you all know about the bad stuff right because you need to understand what is going on in the game you're playing and if you're trying to lower the amount of bad stuff especially in a market is tricky is detroit got to pay attention to where you're buying okay location 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 all right so three good neighborhoods that y'all should be paying attention to number one baby bagley the bagley neighborhood all right Boast in a pleasant living environment with well-kept properties increasing rent and growing property prices Bagley provides solid cash flow and equity gains for the short and long term. The perfect balance of these two investment returns makes Bagley ideal for investors looking for immediate and future gains, right? So they're kind of talking about a little bit of cash flow and a little bit of appreciation. Here is a chart that goes over median pricing in Bagley, the Bagley neighborhood, okay, right? 2015 all the way up to 2023 right you see how freaking low it is dude look at that it's insane that's why people are so scared of detroit now we gotta we gotta pay attention to a couple things though right just so you're aware right you got to take all information with a grain of salt okay it's probably impossible to find a neighborhood in america where the prices have not gone up between the years of 2015 and 2024, okay? Let's let's make sure we are all aware of that. I don't want y'all thinking that, like, there's neighborhoods that didn't go up during that decade, okay? Coming from 2015 to 2024, right? We, we're all coming out of, like, the biggest housing recession in, I don't know, probably the history of America. If not the history, it, it was in, like, the last, like, 100 years, right? This is like a, a once-in-a-generation, once-in-a-lifetime kind of recession so you're gonna see pretty much properties everywhere going up but we have some extreme value gains okay in this neighborhood right and then some key points all right some key points uh for y'all to know about bagley okay uh the average rent okay you're looking at lower income stuff right like 700 bucks rent to price ratio uh is uh seven percent with several jam uh gems surpassing one percent 
currently still incredibly cheap, though, right? Like 146k is the median uh, price point that you're seeing. Okay, you're you're really not able to get like rental properties and things of that nature uh, in many neighborhoods uh, for that cheap, right? And you got a lot of stuff up in there surpassing the 1% rule, right? Detroit is one of the few uh, markets in this neighborhood is one of the few neighborhoods where you're still able to, well, in the Detroit market, pretty much all the neighborhoods are going to surpass the 1% rule. This is one of the few neighborhoods where you can do it uh, and it's like a, a neighborhood you want to be paying attention to, right? A little map of the area there, okay? Another one, the north end, right? The north end of Detroit City is quickly maturing area that landlords should be keeping an eye on. The rent-to-price ratio makes it a very great option for cash flow investments while the majority of residents are renters and they have been consistently paying their rent. In addition, the North End is next in line to benefit from the property price boom that has been occurring throughout Detroit, okay? Rents are a little higher over here, 816 per month, the average, but the median price, okay? Median price is actually a little bit lower, okay? So higher rent, lower price has to do with more na uh, more renters, right? So you're going to see a little bit of an uptick probably in crime in this area, but the folks at Logical PM, they believe this another incredible solid neighborhood, right? So if you if you got a pallet uh, for a little bit more risk, right, you, you want to grab that return, right? You don't want to swing for a, a single, right? You want to swing for the fences a little bit. You might want to check into that one. And then, of course, you're going to see extreme growth, okay? Extreme growth from a price point perspective from um, back in the day till today, right? Last 10 years, huge extreme growth. Again, you're going to see it anywhere in America, but not, like, as dramatic as a place like Detroit. Because, I mean, let's be real. It was like the gutter for a while, uh, but things are popping, right? So you can get in early, right? Get in. The early stabilization can make some money. And then the last one we're going to talk about today, another great rental property neighborhood, the East English Village. And the East English Village is also going to see a ton of increase in pricing, right? We're up to a median, 131. Started out freaking way low, right? <laughs> like this freaking $10,000. We're just a freaking a friggin ball hair above that, right? Okay, uh, you got average rents, 824, okay? Of course, we're breaking the 1% rule here. This is another solid neighborhood, right? So Detroit, this ain't your daddy's Detroit, y'all. It's still a risky neighborhood, yes, but, like, you know, all the horror stories you've probably heard about Detroit and stuff, like, it's coming out of that, and it's making a rebound. And we as investors, that's what we want. That's how we really make the money. It's about finding the next up and coming thing, right? Like, you know, real estate goes like this, y'all. Okay? You want to invest here and get up to here, right? You want to invest here, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, exit, okay? What you don't want to do, right? If you can invest here, exit here, sweet. If you invest here and you exit here, not sweet, right? So we need to be looking at stuff on the upswing, Detroit is it, and the three neighborhoods in Detroit uh, are going to be these three, right? These are the three that I think is going to make the most sense for you. East English Village, the North End, and Bagley. If you think some other neighborhoods in Detroit are better than these or you think these neighborhoods not so much, let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you have to say. But in my opinion, this makes a lot of sense, and of course I'm always – Always going to be paying a lot of attention to what my folks over there at Logical PM in Detroit have to say because ain't nobody that I know has their ear to the ground better than these folks, right? Like a lot of y'all have opinions and stuff, but do you manage a couple thousand doors in Detroit? Have you made millions of dollars in Detroit doing this stuff, right? You got to follow the money, folks. These are the people that make the money in this space. If you want to hear more about Detroit, what's popping in Detroit, you want more investment opportunities in Detroit, subscribe here on Holton Wise TV. We got a bunch of Detroit stuff coming out. Also, touch base with my folks over at Logical PM in Detroit. I will link their contact info below. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.